not biting anymore, so I'm guessing that he took my bait. Hey guys, Rocky with Wild Edge Outdoors here. It's another day here in uh, Naples, Florida. I'm fishing out on the Naples Pier. Never tried this before, but came down here to check it out. People are catching whiting and saw some of these sail catfish. I guess they got quite a bit of venom in their fins. But anyways, we're gonna just throw out some shrimp. Got some braided line on here. Got a one ounce sinker and then a little, about a one odd hook. All I'm gonna do is put a shrimp on there. I'll show you that in a second. And throw it out, and just kind of move it around out here. See if anything's around. Here's the shrimp I'm gonna use. And you just stick them in the head, I was told yesterday, not to hit them in the brain. And yes, shrimp have brains. So we're just gonna hook them right about there. There we go. And we'll just flip cast it out here. And there we go. You gotta be careful of these pelicans that are out here. Whenever they see somebody bring something in, they're right after it. So you gotta kinda avoid uh, letting them get your hooks. It's pretty warm out here today, about 85. A little bit overcast, which is kind of nice, a little breeze. From what I understand, it's a pretty sandy bottom. Pretty little chance of getting hung up on something. I can feel something a little bit here and there, but I think it's just a waiting game. Some people are using jigs down here. I can see where that would be a little bit more fun. Moving around a lot, rather than just sitting here and waiting. Oh, there was a bite. I pumped it up a little bit and just let her settle back down and then I got a little bite. Yep, he's around there. Nope, oh, missed him. Probably stole my shrimp. Yep, still there. It's got to be something small. Come on, take it. Yep, stole most of it. Even stole the in, <laughs> even stole the inside of it. <laughs> All right. Well, at least there's something alive down there. Anything? Not a thing. Just got a little bit of a bite, but that's about it. Whoa! That was good. That caught up my finger. Yeah, there they are again, whatever it is. Sharp little bite. Sure like to know what that is down there. Stole it again. Pretty busy place on this pier. Have any luck today? How much? How about you? Getting a bunch of little bites, but I got no idea what it is. Same thing. You ever thing. bring one in to see what it was? Uh, one, well, I got one small Spanish mackerel. That was about it. Huh. Two. Two? Yeah. Two? <laughs> hey, don't leave that out. <laughs> they popping and running through here at all? I haven't seen anything. Oh, one guy just a little ways down caught a ladyfish. Oh, That's it. That long, that was it. Hey, did you see the dolphin right here? It's coming this way. There he is right there. He's scaring all the fish away too. Not real good for the fishing when they come out like that. Oh, yeah. is that right? Yeah. Not good for his fishing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep losing my shrimp, so I'm gonna try these little gulp worms. They work on the coast. Let's see if they work in the Gulf. All right. Let's see if that works. Now we got a pelican down here. Just waiting for something to fall. I did just get a hit on this. I am very slow. Well, it's still on the hook anyways. It stays on better than the shrimp. I was getting hits on this too. 
I was kind of hoping that because it's so small they would just grab it and take off with it, but that's not happening. I wonder if they have sand crabs and sandworms here like they do on the west coast. I'm really not good at this wading stuff. Do you have any good out there? Sharks mostly. What kind of sharks are you catching? Black tip and spinner. Tarpon was here. We hooked into them, then we lost them. Oh, cool. And then mackerel, and then it's so good. Is that earlier in the morning or just? Straight out. Early morning there? and right now. Nice. Okay, have a nice one. All right, you too. Thanks. Do any good out there? Well, I was out here, right? Just cleaned up. Just as clean as a couple. Pop and hold. We had the. Uh, uh, four or five that we caught here earlier. Oh yeah? yeah, four or five. Oh, Papano. Yeah. Wow, all kinds of different things off of here. You using shrimp? No, no, just a jig. Oh, okay. Cool, thanks. I tell you, I am just terrible at this waiting. I just, I'm so bored right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, usually they do that. That means there's a bunch of bait fish right out there. And usually if there's bait fish, there's bigger fish. So. <clears throat> When you're out in the open water, that's what you look for is uh, birds diving down and then you go over there and start fishing by them. We don't have that option. Yeah, the dolphin's not helping. Yeah, we got a dolphin that keeps on swimming around here. From what I understand, that doesn't help at all. Chasing away all, all the fish. Going right by my line. Hopefully it doesn't hit it. Wind's picking up a little bit too. There he is. Yep. Whatever it was. <laughs> uh, well, it's something. This is what's been stealing all of my bait, I think. Hold still, hold still. Oh, it's a pretty little thing. Yeah, there we go. A little bait stealer. Not sure what it is, but it's really pretty. Got him on that gulp sandworm. <laughs> there we go. And that's why you can't catch him with one of those great big shrimp. Oh, that wind's really coming up. Oh, somebody's hat just went in. I can give it a shot. Gotta go for it. I'll give it a try. <laughs> oh, close. Apparently this happens a lot. People lose their hats here and... All right, couldn't hook the hat back to fishing. Yeah, still well, I got busy doing something, got a bite. Missed it, of course. I have to admit, it's pretty cool being somewhere different for a while and just different birds, different fish, different people. It sure is different from Idaho, that's for sure. A lot more people here. That's, that's the hardest thing for me to get used to is so many people. That's really nice having the warm weather. Well, it's the first time I've used this pole too from, uh, I actually got it from Bass Pro Shops and haven't had to try it out on anything big yet, but so far it doesn't feel any different than a normal bowl. And it's nice to be able to travel with it, put it on a plane. Uh, this is that Penn Fierce 3. Got 15 pound braid on there, and then just I just got a 10 pound leader on it. So far it's been plenty big enough. Oh, crap! <laughs> I had one right here. I was just reeling it in and it grabbed it. I missed them though. I saw them. I mean, it would look like a, like one of those ladyfish. It looked kind of long. This is getting a little tore up. I'm gonna have to use another one. Well, I got two kinds of gulp sandworms. Got some red ones, and I was using the camel. Let's try the red ones. See what happens. Okay, I just lost a fish, so we're gonna thread this on. Learn this from actually PK from Oregon Life. Thread it down. As far as you can, and have it come out and put it up over the eye. There we go. That yeah, looks pretty good. All right, off we go again. Whee! 
in a little bit I'm going to try just reeling it in see what happens because that one fish I missed he just slammed it as I was reeling it in I'm guessing the tide must be going out there is nothing in there <laughs> barely even any bait left <laughs> There's some, some out there stealing bait, but that's about it. Welcome. I came here yesterday. They have a lot of uh, the what you call the shark. Oh yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Never caught a shark. I'd like to try that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. That is a shark. It's perfect time to jump in as there's a shark swimming by here. Okay, switch back to shrimp. Only got a few left. Only got a few minutes left on our parking. Of course, he probably just stole my, uh, my shrimp. Well, we just saw a shark swim by. I saw, seen a guy catch a ladyfish. I caught some little fish about that big. I'd have no idea what it was. Uh, I heard some guy say that he caught some pompano and uh, some mackerel, Spanish mackerel. Go look at the chart and find out what all those are. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> of course. But they're just stealing bait right now. There's something down there that's really small. Oh. But at least it's... Everybody's got to eat. Yeah. This one's going to do the trick. He's lively. So lively, I'm going to lose him. Oh, there's something. All right, looks like the same thing that I caught before, only... Oh, I, I follow hooked this guy. Yeah. Oh, nice. But hey, I, I got my bait back. There's a grouper. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. All right. Been told that this is a grouper. There he goes. Uh, I was just very slowly reeling it in, not pumping it. And then he started picking on it a little bit so I stopped and then just it was kind of a feel thing okay. <laughs> that was close that bird went after my uh, shrimp when I tossed it in there well guys I think we might close her out been here a while and I think our parking is uh, running out nice that we caught something would have been nice to catch something a little bit bigger but hey this has been a fun experience to see in what out here Talked to some people and they've caught, out on the end, they caught sharks. Uh, had tarpon, pompano, ladyfish, and Spanish mackerel that I've heard of. Appreciate you guys watching and uh, if you like this, feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell to be notified when we put out more content. See you later.